G'day guys, how's it going? All right, in this video, what we're gonna do is a review on this uh, Camelback Military Mule three liter hydration pack. Right, eh? let's get into it. Right, yeah, now actually, before we get into the Camelback, I wanna show you what I have been using um, previous, or what I currently use. So I have this here, this is the Ogeo flight vest. I have done a review on that. I'll put a link to that in the description. This is great if you've got lots of bits and pieces that you want to carry. You got your just there's heaps of room to carry stuff. It does weigh a little bit. Now I only use this when I do uh, what we call a ramble uh, ride. If you can hear that noise, it's Nay in the wood shop. She's chopping up bloody wood. Um, so I use that because I carry bits and pieces for while we run these tours that we do, which are the rambles. Um, just when I'm off riding myself, I've just got this thing. It's a cheap knockoff, not a knockoff, it's just a cheap Chinese duvlaki. It came with its own bladder. I didn't like the bladder. Um, what was the, I had a, another one. What was it? It was a, I can't remember. I bought a fuel bladder and I got this particular bladder here that came with another type of one of those. <laughs> Mix match, this is what I do. I just work out what works best for me and just take bits and pieces all over. I really like this, I've ran this for years, it's brilliant. I did like uh, this option because it gives you a big wide, easy to clean out, easy to pour water in there, however you're gonna do that. Um, but I used to originally have a Camelback and we'll see how they have their little paw spout thing. Righto, let's get into the bloody Camelback. Righto, so just to reiterate, the Ogeo Flight Vest, I'm keeping that. That is still going to be in my gear for when I do the ramble rides, the motorcycle tours that I put on. But this one here is what I wanted to replace. I've had it, for, I've used it for so many years, I just thought it was time to update it. The other thing is that I wanted something that was a different colour, because I, all, I wear, all my stuff is all black, and I wanted something just to break that black up, a bit more noticeability, um, and this is what I figured. I like the look of it, I like the, mil I like the military utilitarian type of stuff, so this suits me perfectly. Let's have a look at all the details. Sorry guys, we are getting there, but I just want to throw this in. I'm not sponsored. I've bought this thing out of my own personal money. Um, and the other thing is that I'm buying this because I want to buy it. Any hydration pack is going to do the job. Doesn't matter bloody whether it's Camelback, Chinese knockoff, whatever. So don't think you have to spend a lot of money to get a hydration pack, you don't. Rightio guys, so we've got a few things. So the actual bladder that we're gonna see inside of it is a, called an antidote. It has a lifetime guarantee. I don't know all the details. I'm sure they've got little escape bloody goat things out of it, but uh, that's it there. This NIR thing apparently says something about uh, technology that reduces the near infrared signature of the pack. Something to do with the military. I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna be trying to shoot me out here. Now, this is good. So the pack itself is made out of that Cordura. Uh, what does it say? Durable, versatile, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there's other. I can see in there that it's got that, it's that rip stop uh, stuff in it, which is really good. Um, so that's pretty good. Now, so it's called a mule because it's three liters. I believe that's the reason why it is. Comes in three colors, black, Coyote and the military. Now, this turned up, and I tell you what, this is not coyote tan. If you look at that color there and that color there, and then if I grab my mobile phone, I should have a picture all ready to come up. Yeah, I don't know if you can, see, if I can bring this up closer. Can you see the colour of that pack? That's what that's what you see online. That is not the colour of this pack. But with that said, 
I much prefer this color than the actual, that brighter coyote tan. So it ended up being a win for me, but I just wanted to point out that the color that they're showing there is definitely not the color here. Right here, and last but not least, it's just a bloody, yeah, Camelback Maximum Gear. Has the old cool little uh, logo stuff that plays to the big kid in me. Right, eh? So, what I paid $198.95 Camelback Mule Military Hydration Pack Coyote. Um, and that's it there. You guys that follow knew that I got that Cedar Summit thing on this. This particular thing was on back order. Finally got it. There was a bit of mucking around, but got it in the end. That's Australian dollars too. Right, oh, so. There it is there. It holds three litres. It's got the Cordura, the ripstock. Has this Molly webbing thing so you can attach. That's, you know, the military typical thing. Um, I was really impressed with this actually. Uh, it's got, it's got heaps of straps, which I'll show you. I'm gonna put all this on. If I turn this over, it has a top pocket up here. Open that up, there's a spot to be able to put some bits and pieces in there. I'm not a fan of having lots of stuff on my backpack. Normally it's just always the hydration because I can't get access to it unless I take it off. In here, you've got a little bloody zipper mesh thing there. You've got a big pocket in there and then little pockets in here. A little Thing. I suppose put a phone or something in there and then straight. I don't know why you do that, but pretty cool. The construction looks really good. Um, and then, obviously, the most important part is this part, which is where your hydration pack is. And this is something that I think Camelback does really well. And it's this just this whole system. So you just when you want to fill it up, you just grab that open and hey presto pour your water in there it's just a really it's big and wide so you can also get in there and clean and then to put it back on boom you are done I mean what more can you bloody say <laughs> where is it there is it there right hey, let's get this thing on Actually, guys, I should give you the uh, the dimensions, the weight, and all that kind of stuff. Where's my short lookers? That's it, my short lookers. Right, eh? So it says, and this this is the funny thing, it says 88 uh, grams. This pack weighs 88 grams. Now, never in my life of getting the lots of different products. What they stated is, and then when I whacked it on that bloody scale, it said. 88 bang on and I want to do it just I'll put this bucket on there so put that scale let it zero out and then I'm gonna whack this in yes yeah, bang on oh now it's going oh, no, 88 1 88 2 oh, I was 88 0 damn it but there you go crazy a product that actually weighs what they say it weighs. Um, now the dimensions are short lookers again. It says in centimeters because we're Australian. So 44 centimeters, and that will be 44 centimeters that way, 22 centimeters that way, and then obviously once you get all the the water and the pack and all that kind of stuff, it'll be 20 centimeters. Uh, that way at the moment. It's not obviously Just to give that to you in the inches for the oversell for the Americans the bloody Americans 17.5 inches long 8.5 inches that way and 7.9 thick Brilliant sorry, I should give the uh, weight for the Americans. It's 1.9 pounds is what it weighs the it says it's eight liters plus three liter reservoir. So you actually, the yeah, it, it'll hold eight liters plus the three liter reservoir in there. I think I've got it all, guys. That's it. Let's get it on. Right, eh? 
I was pretty I was pretty impressed how it's got so you can have your tube come out there that easily goes and comes out to if you want it to go on either side of there but something to do with the military they have these side bits so you can actually have that come out and up under your arm it must be something to do with I don't know, carrying, carrying guns or something like that it might be a better option for the military for me it's just straight over this is how I like to do it you know this it's got the insulated um, what do you call it tube which is good when it's hot because you know you're riding along this sits in the sun you take a gulp and you get that hot water um, so that's a really good thing I like the uh, little tube I haven't actually used that bit because it's still got the plastic thing on it I should actually take that off shouldn't I so this is not a real world test but that's the that's the typical big bite which is what I've got on my other pack I really like the big bite but that just yeah works really good it's got the cutoff valve so you can yeah you hang it up somewhere or you lay it down and it starts leaking out well you've got that cutoff valve so you can just turn that off or on it fit, actually fits through the D buckles that they've got, which is good. All the straps except for this one has a little tidy. So I've put a, a zip tie around that one. So when you've got that access stuff, but on all the other ones like here, they've got the little rubber things, which just keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, and also, yeah, on here, which I've noticed on another uh, one that I've got, they've got the Velcro. So you just Velcro, take it out a little bit, put the Velcro back on. Just keeps all those straps instead of all that shit hanging everywhere. Get the bloody pack on, Mark. Right, eh? Yeah, some these are actually removable if you don't like having the one around. Um, some people don't like having that one on there. You can actually take that off. And then we've got this one up here. Boom. And it's got, it's got that little elastic-y thing there, which I thought was pretty good too. But yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. So that's on. Obviously having all these extra bits keeps that pack from jumping around while you're on the bike. So I reckon I don't have that done up tight. I've still got a bit of bit of room I can tighten it up if I want to but I've obviously got to put water in bits and pieces so <clears throat> that's a bit of a look around cool bananas okay so I suppose you are obviously gonna want me to see me put um, three liters of water the only way to do that is to have three liters physically sitting there so that way you know it does actually hold three liters so just Take all these off. This is most probably going to go in fast motion, guys. Here we go. Anyways, that's starting to struggle. I don't know whether it needs to be... What are you jamming up? Shouldn't. I lay that like that. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to get three liters in this. I don't know if there is a way to make that. If I lay that down, that's just going to overflow. That's it, I can't, I'm not going to squeeze any more in that. Boom, then I'll bloody split something. Right, hey, let's see if I can really push it. Get that last bit in. Just the hell. 
Here I was banging on how good this is. It is good, don't get me wrong. There you go. Done. Locked in. Get rid of this water. Because then I'm going to do a pressure test on it. Right here. Got all that cleaned up. So, that's basically what I want to yeah, so there's nothing there's nothing pushing out anywhere. Brilliant. Alright, so whack that back in there. Hook our little duvalaki on, I don't know if you can see that. Like that. That stops that stops this sagging down down the bag. Beautiful guys. Right yeah, so there it is. Oops, sorry to show you from that. Right yeah, let's take a drink. Might help if I turn it on, eh? I just gurgled all the way back. Tastes alright to me. Tastes like Bendigo water. Rightio, so we know it holds three litres. Just, I would say I would be putting two and a half litres in it, not trying to get every minuscule bit out of it. And that holds that pretty pretty good like that, isn't it? Oh, I need to turn me thing so I can see. Yeah. So now, we open that up. So there's actually quite, that. you could fit quite a bit of bloody stuff in that top one there. And then of course, yeah, see that packs out. That'll pack out quite a bit, eh? What can I throw in there, guys? Right, now we're gonna just <laughs> chuck in some rags. See what it looks like. All packed out. Oh, so I can even put more in there. God. Jeez, I can really put my bloody clothing in there. Oh, heaps, wow. That's crazy. Oh, that'll do. That'll give you, there you go, so that'll give you a bit more of an idea. And there's still, there's still more room in there. Like, no problem. But guys, I prefer to have Max, which is the DR650, my bike, to carry the weight. I prefer not to have weight on me. Um, so I wouldn't pack this up full of stuff. It'll be just to hold certain things. There we go. That feels actually pretty good. But you can now feel the weight. Yeah. Bloody ripper. I reckon that's it guys. I don't think there's any more I can do about it. Obviously this wasn't a real world. That's just showing it to you. Camelback has proved himself over the years for sure. That whole military spec stuff, the cord, that's just yeah. I reckon I reckon it's a good thing. Whether you think it's a good thing for the you know the two hundred dollar price, that's each to everybody's own circumstances. Rightio, guys, remember, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.